Hello guys, greetings from Kharkov, Ukraine. My name is Svetlana Mucha and I'm the leading matchmaker and dating coach at Dior.com. Uh, while I have uh, like 10, 15, three minutes in between uh, Skype interviews uh, and interviewing the ladies, I would like to devote this time to answer some of the questions that I have received from you. Uh, so, oh, I see that three people are watching us already. If you have any questions, please feel free to tag them directly into chat and uh, I will try to cover them. You can ask me uh, why don't I have a uh, beautiful Alessia or Katerina today with me uh, in this uh, video, in this live stream. Well, Alessia is busy interviewing the lady and uh, Katerina is uh, busy scheduling the dates so uh, as you know clients come first and uh, i have a chance to be uh, one on one with you um after uh, the last videos that we did uh, with alessia uh, in which we have commented uh, the attitude of uh, ukrainian ladies uh, to splitting the bill and with the starching money topics uh, i have received numerous emails from our subscribers and uh, pretty often people who comment our videos and people who are our clients can be opposite categories uh, so uh, anyway uh, we aim to please uh, our subscribers this is why we have started this channel um, so i will try to really quickly cover the emails that i have received some gentlemen claim that uh, by uh, saying out loud in the videos that Ukrainian ladies expect the men to foot the bill, uh, we kind of encourage uh, Ukrainian ladies to be more materialistic and what to do if a gentleman can't foot the bill. And uh, here I have to point out that uh, by footing a bill, it doesn't mean that you have to take the lady out to a really fancy place. If that's not something you can afford and not... Uh, something that is important for you. There are plenty of ladies, uh, I believe, in every culture, and uh, I'm speaking about Ukraine right now, who would really enjoy into going to a not fancy place. And I personally know many ladies would actually uh, prefer it if uh, they are in relationship with a gentleman, uh, not to spend uh, big money on a fancy restaurant. But we are talking about first dates and about the time when you are courting the lady and if you ask a ukrainian lady out if it is a fancy place or not fancy place again different people will have their own uh, opinion uh, what type of place can be fancy what is fancy for us uh, for some people uh, for me for uh, katerina for alessia won't be fancy for other people we all have our preferences and that's quite normal so, uh, if the gentleman is asking out a Ukrainian lady, she will expect him to put the bill. That's tradition. Uh, hi there, please tell me more about ladies in your base. How do you recruit them? Uh -huh, that's from Natalia. <laughs> Natalia, if you want to be in our base, you should leave uh, the request at our website for ladies, paradiseday.com. Dot UA, and uh, after that, uh, our manager will contact you and will invite you over for the interview with our psychologist, Alice. Our base is uh, a closed base, so your information won't be posted anywhere online. So uh, let's return. Uh, let's return to discussing first dates with the lady. Uh, I think the main uh, problem occurs when gentlemen start dating ladies, uh, I wouldn't call it outside of their league, but ladies with different uh, level of life and attitude to money. So uh, some gentlemen uh, claim that they want to date somebody who is not materialistic, uh, somebody who is down to earth, uh, somebody uh, who um, won't... Uh, spend half of your salary on a pair of shoes or in the bag. On the other hand, uh, when we suggest this gentleman um, to date a lady who is not materialistic, uh, who is not uh, really that into fashion, gentlemen claim that, oh, she is not fancy enough for them. So here, gentlemen have to understand that if the lady invests lots of uh, time, energy and money into her looks, 
And I'm not talking right now about the made-up beauty because I'm sure you understand that uh, uh, eating healthy, uh, good hairdresser, um, even a good shampoo, it will cost money. So, of course, if the lady has invested lots of her time, energy, and money into her looks, uh, she will have certain expectations to the gentleman. Why is she doing that? Why is she investing so much energy into her looks? Because she understands that uh, that's her uh, ticket into a relationship with uh, a man uh, who can be, uh, for example, a better provider, who can give her a better way of life. So that's life. And uh, beautiful ladies usually know that they are beautiful. Uh, if we are talking about uh, Instagram beautiful ladies, about Hollywood beautiful ladies. Could you please give me your office address in Kyiv with office numbers? We don't have an office in Kyiv. I mean, I'm sorry. You can find the address and phone numbers of our office in Kharkov at our website, diola.com. So what else do I want to tell you uh, about uh, expectations of ladies? Different ladies have different expectations regarding the date. Um, some ladies will really enjoy it if you will take her uh, to a small cafe. Uh, other ladies will, would expect a, a restaurant, uh, this, uh, a two meal course with a glass of wine. And of course, it is up to you to choose the type of the restaurant, uh, and which you can afford, which you can feel comfortable with. So there is nothing materialistic um, by Explaining to the gentle to gentlemen that in Ukraine it's not very common to actually split the bill, and you shouldn't expect splitting the bill. It's not in our culture. Any other questions that you want me to cover? Okay, guys, uh, let me know if you want uh, me to do more live streams like this one. Then we will do it more often and uh, maybe it will be useful for you. By the way, we have an Instagram channel and you can subscribe to our Instagram channel to get even more news and dating tips. Uh, what do you say Ukrainian uh, ladies prefer living in cities, suburbs or rural areas? It depends on the lady. It depends on, uh, depend on the lady and uh, her way of life. Many ladies prefer living in the city. For example, she is living in the city. Many ladies prefer living in suburbs. Our psychologist is living in suburbs and she enjoys that. Uh, some ladies will prefer rural areas. Of course, a rural area, let's say in the United States and in China, uh, will depend, um, will differ greatly from uh, the rural area in Ukraine. So uh, you can't compare that. But everybody is unique. And uh, I think it is important to pay attention more if you share the same vision and ideas about uh, life together than about the fact if your eyes are green or brown or blue. So it would be more important to pay attention if, for example, the two of you want to live in suburbs or if two of you want to have kids or if two of you believe that uh, a lady should uh, be a stay-at-home uh, uh, mom or if she has to have a job. So pay attention at uh, these aspects. They are way more important than uh, hair color, etc. Hello, I'm Yaron from Tel Aviv. Uh, hello, Yaron from Tel Aviv. I wanted to know with, uh, uh, with it okay after I met a girl who sessions in the Ukraine. Can I give you money for any increase? Uh, do you mean that you have met her two times in Ukraine? It depends on you. So I can't tell you that uh, give her money or don't give her money. I don't know your relationship at which stage you are. Uh, of uh, your relationship if you are on a boyfriend and girlfriend stage and uh, you want to help your girlfriend out it's one scenario if you have met her twice and uh, you're still casually dating each other and dating other people at the same time then i would tell that don't give her money so it depends on the situation on your feelings toward this lady
Guys, any other questions? I have time, I think, for uh, one or two questions. Please subscribe to our Instagram. There we post uh, dating tips and advice daily. And uh, you can find it useful if you're considering international dating or if you're dating a Ukrainian lady. I think these are all questions. Uh, I hope it was useful for you. Uh, it was nice seeing all of you. And I hope that you will have a great productive evening. I'm laughing because of the remoteness of the state in which I live. Our state motto is, is not for everyone. Nebraska, may I ask the population of your larger cities? Uh, Kharkov, the city where we are located, has about 2 million people. Uh, and uh, many cities are about like 1 million, 1 million of the half, if we are talking about uh, uh, the capitals of the regions. I have never been to Nebraska, so uh, I, I can't say anything about it. But so often it's about who you live with and not about where you live with. We have introduced a couple, uh, I think two years ago, they got married last year. And the gentleman, he's in the military, he's from the US. And right now he serves at the tiny island, we couldn't find it on the map. And he's now wife, she has relocated with him and she actually enjoys life there because she is with her beloved man. She loves making their house cozy. Uh, she doesn't have a job there because pretty much you can't have a job in a small island. Your options are limited, but she runs a blog about food uh, and uh, she's enjoying her time there. So she has found the man she loves and it doesn't matter where they are living. So if you will find the right girl, she can easily enjoy Nebraska because for her it would be the place where uh, her family is, and by family I mean her beloved husband, maybe kids. So it's never about the place, it's always about the person. I have the feeling sometimes that uh, we foreigners are more serious than girls. It depends on what type of girls you are dating, how, how, you, how you have met her, maybe you have met her on Tinder and uh, she has provocative picture there, you have met her in the club, different ladies, uh, have different attitude to what is serious and what is not. So, of course, it depends on the places you are meeting those ladies. I can assure you that there are like plenty of serious ladies that are really interested in finding someone. Of course, uh, you can't meet a lady like that in the nightclub. I'm not sure I uh, read your name correctly, Atticus. Um, I'm happy that uh, it was helpful to you. Guys, I have time for one more question and then we will wrap it up. If you like this format, uh, uh, we will do uh, once uh, every two weeks uh, a live video stream and uh, myself or myself and our psychologist or maybe just our psychologist will be answering your questions. Okay, uh, the question, uh, how long do you recommend a man and a Ukrainian woman get to know each other before they live together? By live, you mean living? Um, it depends on a couple, but to be honest, I have never seen it. I have seen it just uh, once that uh, uh, the gentleman has met a lady. They have spent just three days together and after that he has proposed to her. By the way, they're still married and it has happened it has happened almost 11 years ago, so they are married for 11 years. Uh, but that couple, they were all about rock and roll, and uh, they have names of each other tattooed on their bodies, so they are like a huge exception. In the majority of cases, it takes uh, at least uh, uh, several months before a couple decides to get engaged. I have noticed that uh, with our uh, older couples, uh, uh, these uh, ladies and gentlemen in their 40s, 50s, uh, 60s, they tend to uh, move in together quicker and the gentlemen tend to propose to the ladies faster and the ladies tend to accept proposals quicker. With our younger couples in their, who are in their 20s, 30s, they tend to date longer. One of our couples, uh, the lady has just 
flew to United States, she got her K-1 visa, I think three days ago. Uh, they were dating for uh, about eight or nine months before they got engaged. And then they were engaged for another eight to nine months. Uh, I can think of another couple and uh, they live in Japan. And they were also dating for, I think, about nine months before they got engaged. So it's very individual, but I don't believe into really rushed relationships. So and moving in together after knowing each other for one month, uh, that can be too soon. But again, uh, again, it depends on your situation, on the lady you're dating. There is Alicia. Alicia. <laughs> Alicia is busy interviewing the lady. Uh, but uh, I will tell her that you have said hello. By the way, your nickname is uh, quite uh, inappropriate, if I can call it. My aunt and uncle have been married over 60 years and they got married after a few days. Wow, that's impressive, but I'm sure you would agree that that's more exceptional. After having uh, taken such an uh, interest in the Ukraine and their custom, I have developed a slight fear of pumpkins. You are afraid that somebody will give you a pumpkin. But this um, tradition is more spread in villages and small towns. If you will date a big town girl, the chances that they know this tradition are quite small. So it's not like it's, it's that traditional to bring the pumpkin. But in the rural area, they still do it. You're doing a good job. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, guys, any more questions since my interview, the lady I'm supposed to interview? Is still on her way. I still have some time to answer your questions. I remind you that we have Facebook and we have Instagram, and we post some quick dating tips there daily. So, if you want to learn more about everyday life of our team and uh, more tips about dating, uh, they are all there. Okay, then no questions for today. Uh, then, yeah, thank you all for um, watching me live. And if you like this tradition, uh, leave in the comments below our videos uh, the best time and the best dates when you want to do us live streams. And uh, we will try to choose a time that will be appropriate for us and for uh, the biggest amount of our subscribers. I wish you all on the strong mutual love. Bye, guys.